I just want to let everybody know before this video even starts, what you're going to see is not, is not what they recommend. <sighs> Woo! It's hot out here. We are going to be putting some Plot Doctors liquid lime and we are going to be putting some Northwoods Whitetail Seed uh, from John Comp, the cereal rye, over the top of this new growing clover. And you know me, I didn't pre-plan so I didn't get a soil sample but I'm going to take soil samples today and I'm just going to throw down some lime and fertilizer and hope for the best. And I've been mainlining coffee drinks for the whole morning. We should be primed up, ready to go. If you go to Northwoods Whitetail, bugs. Hold on. Uh, John Comp's Northwoods Whitetail Seed on YouTube. He's got a pretty good two or three part series where he talks with the chemical expert about spreading the liquid lime, uh, foliar liquid, and many other chemicals. So I went through and researched the liquid lime by Plot Doctors. You could spray it on actively growing clover and chicory, which I'm going to do. But I haven't had my soil sample yet, so I'm kind of ahead of the game. I disked up, put the seed down, medium red clover and chicory, but I never did a soil sample. So I got soil samples today. I'm going to throw down some liquid lime, but I'm going to mix it light. So I'm going to put more water than solution. And John says this stuff's pretty thick, so mix it with just a regular mortar mixer or paint mixer. So I've got a two gallon bucket. I'm gonna fill that bucket up and then kind of go by the directions on the back of the package and figure out how much I need. So it says here if our soil pH is four to five, we wanna go three to four gallons per acre. If it's six plus, it's one gallon per acre. So I have no idea what it is. We're, we're talking about ounces, not gallons. So I'm gonna mix this light and then I'll put it in there. I'll show you how much I'm gonna put in. Probably spill a lot. May fail, may win. And I got it 400 pounds of pelletized lime. I'm gonna hit the open spots that have nothing on them. And then I'm gonna broadcast Northwood's whitetail cereal rye. So here we go. Here's two uh, greener food plots. So I'm sure that that'll probably give me a, a chemical burn if I get any on me. So we'll just be careful. So we're gonna put that much to this pail and then add two gallons of water. This may just be completely useless. Like you can't even get it out of there. Oh, I might have rubber gloves in the truck. I do, I do, I do. Good. Yeah, these are large I don't like these. I'm kind of making a mess of it. This is what you do when you fail to prepare. I knew I was coming up here to do this. Forgot measuring, forgot funnel, we forgot it all. Now we're gonna take our mixer. So we just wanna get that stuff in the solution. And then we wanna try and pour it back in here without making a terrible mess, which uh, we're not going to be able to do, I know that. This is going to be wholly horrible. All oh, going to be running down my back. And it pretty much got it all out of there. So now we got to dry this all off. And I'm running a number four nozzle on my solo sprayer. I think I'm only going to go with one application, just this tank load. I'm not prepared, I'm not set up, I don't have what I need. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna hit some of the greener stuff over there, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna broadcast pelletize over all of this stuff. If it burns out, it burns out the clover. You know, that'll be my learning experience. Once this is empty, and I'm gonna hit all of these uh, patchy areas with Northwoods Whitetail Cereal Rye. I also took the screen out of my sprayer. Okay. 
system was all plugged up. I haven't got a chemical burn yet. This is how woefully prepared I am. Man. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go over here. God, look at this plugged up already. I've got to have junk inside there. I should have cleaned this out before I let her go. Did it again. There's nothing in there. So I think I used a shitty garden hose. All it did was put little chunks of, all I did was put little chunks of junk inside my sprayer. <sighs> yeah, I'm angry. But that just goes to show you, I was woefully prepared. All right, I'm gonna go over to the other side and put some down. This spot turned out to be pretty good looking. <laughs> because I didn't do any, um, Soil sample, I don't know what I'm putting down. Obviously by this video, you can tell I am ill prepared. That's gonna clog, see that's already, it's already clogged up. I love it. I, you know, it's frustrating because I didn't follow the directions. We're gonna go down this trail over here. And then I'm just gonna spread bag pelletized lime. And then I'm gonna to top dress with Northwoods Whitetail cereal rye. It's really all I can do. Had I done this properly, this would probably look way better. This stuff is kind of yellowing here, so we know that it's deficient. And the sprayer's all messed up again. Well, it got me at least that far. Okay, so now that we saw how epic of a fail that was, now we're gonna dump some of this 400 pounds of lime. Oh, mocha choca, baby. We're gonna just dump lime. We're just gonna take pelletized lime and I'm just gonna spread it over the whole thing. I may burn it up, I may promote some serious growth, or it may just stay the way it is. I don't know. But so far, this is not the video you want to watch if you want to know how to do it right. I have done it right in the past, but this isn't the past, this is the present. And I sure do look like a donkey. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to fail on putting lime into the bag. Oh, oh, we got it. Now the big thing about these is getting it on your body right. I think we might have it right this time. Now all this powder is gonna come onto my legs. And because I'm sweaty and hot, it's gonna stick. And then it's gonna burn. Okay. This ain't right either, is it? No. No, 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 this ain't right either. Let's all watch as I struggle with this. I'm gonna call my buddy Tim and see if I can use his tractor with the uh, spreader on it. I gotta get this lime off of me. All right, my buddy's gonna hook me up with his tractor and spreader so I can spread this lime out quicker. The bag spreader works, but I have something better at my disposal, so I might as well take advantage. So right now I'm gonna go and put some trail cameras up, and about an hour from now, we're gonna hook up and get that lime spread. I gotta get this part done anyhow. Might as well go do it now. So sometimes you find people out there that are pretty solid friends. Uh, Tim, one of my buddies up here, 
longtime friend, said, hey, don't spread that line by hand. I can get you set up with a spreader and my tractor. So this is probably $25,000, $30,000 rig set up here. I appreciate it, I really do. Three. Okay, three. All right, so we're gonna get this thing going. And we'll open up the hatch and start slinging some lime. Okay, we're fixing the lime. The Mayville Munchie plot. That long plot over there is Salem Soren's plot. And then the far plot, the T-shaped one that we haven't done this year, is Noodle's plop. <laughs> Noodle plop. That's the Noodle plop plot. And if you recall from the last video where we were doing uh, uh, habitat improvement, Noodle's the guy that had a hard time with the chainsaw. Well, Tim, I can't thank you enough for letting me borrow this beautiful tractor. This thing made short work of that. I was able to do multiple passes. I got her as cleaned out as I could down there. So that right there is an invaluable piece of equipment when you're short on time and you want to get some stuff done. So it just so happens that Tim's property connects right to mine. So I appreciate everything that he does in keeping an eye on my property. I have another friend as well up here who helps me. The first year helped me with rototilling, gave me some ideas on habitat improvement. So I would say it would have took me two or three hours at uh, 10, maybe $12 an hour. That'd be, you know, 40 bucks right there if I'd have had to do it myself. So we burned up some diesel fuel. Diesel fuel is not free. And just the fact that he trusted me with his piece of equipment. So we're gonna walk back up. We're gonna throw down our Northwoods Whitetail cereal rye. And then I have to run up to Amberg and I have to pick up a grinder, um, flat belt grinder, along with a, a, a circular grinder. You know, so it's all in one circle and belt, all in one. Yeah, wax on, flat chop. <laughs> we'll throw it on that cereal rye, we'll throw it over the top of everything. And if the cereal rye takes over, well, the cereal rye takes over. They're gonna eat it no matter what. Some point or another, then I'll disc it up and I'll definitely start using Northwoods Whitetail food plot seeds. I wanna get some of their clover or chicory, but you gotta do soil samples first. I tried to throw a plot doctor down, but I have no idea what I need to do out there. For all I know, I'm gonna come back and that thing's gonna be burned up like a crisp. So that's Northwoods Rye. Tells you what lot, the purity, 
Um, and that's by Northwoods Whitetails Inc. 50 pounds, 50 pounds, Northwoods Rye. Here we go, we'll try this with this thing. I want 50 instead of 40. Don't crumple, don't crumple. Ah, you rotten car. Now, this baby needs two or three good rains, and it's been so damn dry like a popcorn fart out here. And I don't know forever if this is ever gonna germinate before the turkeys eat every last little stitch of it. Turkeys, turkeys are hungry too. We pretty much got the notebook rye in the spots. So we pretty much got the cereal rye in the spots that are bare, thin. All right, let me fill this up and then we're gonna go over to, uh, we're gonna go over to Sale and Soren's food plot. My battery's gonna die, but I'm just going over here, hitting everywhere, that's bare. Whew. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. We're gonna hope for some rain here pretty soon. It looked like it earlier, but it's not gonna. Now I'm coated with uh, lime dust, and now it's cereal rye dust. Uh, we're going to have to plop into the river and get all cleaned up. All right, if I burn this all up, at least I got the cereal rye to come up uh, and kind of take its place for this season. We'll send off those soil samples. So we've got Sale and Soren's plot here. We got Mayville Munchies. And then we have uh, Noodle Bop, Noodle Plop uh, down there. So that one won't get anything till next year, but I do have the soil sample. We will be prepared for that one. We'll have the soil mended properly, and then we'll lay our seed and We'll see what we get for rain. I'm not gonna do any chainsawing today. Uh, I've got other things to do, so we're gonna head back to the farm. Thanks for watching. Let's hope we get some green stuff growing.